Hey there, if you want to figure out how to make your very own inexpensive afro wig for that moment in between styling when you just don't want to do anything else, then keep watching. Alright, so we're going to need some kinky hair for this style, obviously, a crochet hook and also a hair net. Now you're going to go ahead and put that net onto a styrofoam or a mannequin head, whatever you're using, and you pin it down so it doesn't come off. And then you're going to grab your kinky head, this is what I'm using, and that's what it looks like. So I'm going to cut off the straight ends, and after that I'm going to split each section into even smaller sections so I can crochet it into the hair net. We're going to start from the top because the hairnet comes open and we're trying to seal that hole and so you put it onto each other and then you crochet your hair through the net so it seals that open end over there. You want to first wrap a little piece of hair onto your finger and then put your crochet hook through the net and on the other side attach that little piece of hair onto the hook and pull it back out through the net. Now you put your crochet hook down and then you create a knot with the hair onto the net, if that makes sense. Like this, first take a piece of hair and wrap it around your finger. Now put your crochet hook through the net and put that hair onto the hook of the net, like that. And then pull it back out through the net. Now take that part that you have pulled out of the net hold it with your fingers and then wrap take the other end of the hair and pull it through that loop that you created with your finger and secure it that makes sense right simple so you're going to do that about another five or six times just to close that hole that we talked about earlier and after that we're going to go down to the perimeter of the net and you're going to see even more clearly exactly how to do this. Now a closer look at what it should be looking like. So you put your hook into the net and latch your hair through the hook. Now pull it back out of the net, take your hair and hold it, now pull that other end of the piece of hair through to create a knot, like that. One more time, put your hook through, put your hair onto the hook, pull it out through the net, hold that end of the hair and put the other end through to create a knot. That's all. So you're going to do the same thing all around the perimeter and keep going up and then you fill in that whole middle area as much as you can. If you want to, your hair to be full then you can fill in as much as you can if you don't want it to be too full you want to make sure that you're spacing it out as you can see here I'm not filling in every single hole and I'm taking about three four little circles and filling them putting them all together and then tying that hair through all of them so that way it's not too full bear in mind that this net is very elastic so if you don't do it that way and you try to fill in like every single piece of hole or every tiny one then you would end up with such full hair that it wouldn't make sense and this I used one pack of hair if you want it to be fuller then of course you can space it out less and you can use more than one pack of hair so that's how simple it is you just keep doing that and filling in the hair until it is completely filled up So after you're done crocheting all the hair onto the net, this is what your hair would be looking like. And this is 
was quite easy if you catch up on the whole crocheting method this would be easy it took me um, about an hour and I was filming so obviously this would be a lot less if I wasn't even filming it's really simple it's easy you just have to get your way around the whole crocheting thing and after that it's just so easy like a breeze <laughs> and so this is what it's looking like and after that you're just going to throw it on and shape it whatever way you want it's up to you You just try to figure out how best to shape it to suit your face so I usually don't wear round afros so I ended up creating a side part because that's what I would do with my own hair too so when I wake up and I'm not in the mood to do my hair or you know it's like you washed your hair and you haven't styled it yet but you gotta go downstairs to pick up something or just go somewhere <laughs> and you just can't deal with your hair at that particular moment it's something you could just throw on and go your way and for somebody like me who doesn't exactly like doing my hair all the time I think this is a lifesaver so <laughs> I mean it looks good tell me this is not my hair like you can't tell I dare you tell me tell me this is not my hair <laughs> anyways thank you so much for watching you guys i appreciate you all i hope you like this video give it a big thumbs up share subscribe all of that and i will see you in my next video bye